Hi, and welcome to another video by The Peppy Techie. Today, I'm going to share with you a tutorial on HD Movie Maker Pro and how to edit your soundtrack. So let's get to it and I will show you how to do it. Let's get started. I have a project on the timeline and the first thing we want to do is edit our soundtrack. Note, you have two tracks in HD Movie Maker Pro. One will be for your music and one track is for the voiceover. I will be having more advanced tutorials on soundtrack editing in the near future using Audacity and HD Movie Maker Pro. So please subscribe. Let's start with your basic tutorial. The first thing you have is your cursor, which is the triangle at the top. To move your triangle, you only need to click anywhere in the video and it will move. You can also slide it left and right. The bottom circles are your selectors, which will allow you to trim and make effects. Now what we will do is use the scrubber to also go to the end of the movie. The movie, it's very important to note, is 2 minutes and 27 seconds. When you're choosing your music, this is a good place for you to start to know how long that song that you're going to use should be or if you're going to use multiple songs, how long each clip might be. I'm going to go to Insert Music, and we'll look at the built-in music tracks. Let's choose this one, and click Add. In choosing music with the built-in, and knowing that it's a little longer, to trim this end, if I didn't need it, all I have to do is click in here, and the cursor will come down, then I'm going to put this triangle right at the end, use the circle selectors to grab the end, and then come to trim. I also know that this is a three second picture, so I want about a two second of this to fade out. So I will highlight this with the two circle selectors, go to effect, and choose fade out. So now when you are ready to play back and click play. Please note, if you have a video that might have sound, to turn it down so it will not play over your music. You may have someone talking through these videos and you want to hear it, but you still want the music. We'll show you how to do that in just a few seconds. We're going to clear the soundtrack and start over. Now what I want to do is bring in three different pieces of music into my video. Please make sure you think about the order before you do this. This video editing software has, has some limitations on how to use music. Let's go to Insert Music, Local Music Files, and my first bit of advice is to please make sure you choose copyright free if you're going to use this in Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. If you're using it for a private show for family, then you can use whatever music you would like. We're going to choose Breeze and say Open. Now Breeze is in the timeline. I'm going to use the scrubber tool to go to the end, and of course I know it's way long. However, I actually only want a little bit of this music. So the first thing I'm going to do is highlight to right here, and hit Trim. That will trim the music. Now I'm going to tap right here, use the selector circles, and go all the way to the end. And I'm going to tap Trim. Now we'll come back. Now I made a slight misjudgment. These two right here are video clips, and the same music should be on both of these clips. And because of that, I'm going to click the Undo button, and we're going to try this again, and undo. I want to make sure the music goes all the way to this point in the video clip. So this is where I'm going to trim it. I have to make sure I highlight the whole thing, and now I'm going to say Trim. So now, I'm at this point, I'm going to say Insert Music from Local Music Files, and I'm going to go get Birds. I'm going to play this to sound, see what it sounds like. And as I want this dr dramatic music to begin right when this video begins. So I'm going to do a very slow cut to make it work perfect. I can see when that music begins. I'm going to select this music and trim it. And I'm going to get new music. 
Now if you haven't heard the music and you're not sure if you like it, you can right click on the music and say play if you set up your media player. There. So let's say open. Let's just take this music here, this first part I don't want, and I'm going to trim it. What I want to do is come here to the sunset. Then I can come all the way to the end, select what I don't want, and trim it. One of the things you may want to do at some point is to add some voiceover narration. So what I'm going to do is put my cursor again right here at the very beginning, and I'm going to tap voiceover and record voice. And we'll just start like this. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. So there is my voice. I'll close this. Now if I'm to play this, thank you for watching. Please make sure you subscribe. You can't hear the voice. So what we have to do is go from the narration track to the music track, move the cursor to where the voice begins, use the selector tool, You'll notice we are on the music track. We're going to go to the effects, volume, and turn down the volume. We'll go to about a point three, and let's play this and see what it sounds like. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. Now, if that's to your liking, that's perfect. If you want less volume still, you can come in here, make sure that is still selected, and change it down. Let's start again. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. And that's how you do a voiceover and control the music volume. When you are done and you're happy with your video, make sure you play it. Then tap the back button and you're ready to save your project. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found value in this tutorial, please smash the like button. I'd love to have you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I make more videos about HD Movie Maker Pro. I'd like to leave you with my quote of the day. Feeling gratitude and not expressing it is like wrapping a present and not giving it. Remember to express gratitude to those people around you whom you care about. Have a wonderful day.